Hello, my name is Typhoon and in this lecture, and actually this lecture is going to be like four or five to explain the Android Studio Code Editor. Developing applications for Android involves a considerable amount of programming work, which by definition involves typing, rewriting and modifying lines of code. It should come as no surprise that the majority of developers time spent using Android Studio will typically involve editing code with the editor window as you can see here this is the editor window of android studio the modern code editor needs to go far beyond the original basics of typing deleting cutting and pasting so today the usefulness of a code editor is generally gouged by factors such as amount of by which it reduces the typing required by the programmer ease of navigation through to large source code uh, file and the editor's ability to detect and highlight programming errors in real time as the code is being written uh, as will become evident in this chapter these are just a few of the areas in which the android studio editor excels so while not an exhaustive overview of features uh, of the android editor this lecture aims to provide the quid uh, to key features of the tool so experienced programmers will find that some of these features are common to most code editors available today while number of are unique and to this particular editing environment so here the android studio uh, android studio editor appears in the center of the main window here as you can see here uh, when a java kotlin or xml or the other text-based files is selected for editing for example this shows a typical uh, editor session with kotlin source code file loaded here firstly we have the document tabs here this document tabs uh, android studio is capable of holding multiple files open for editing at any one time so each file is opened it will assign to a document uh, tab displaying the file name in the bar located along the top edge of the window uh, so a small drop down menu will appear in the far right uh, hand corner of the tab when there is an insufficient room to display all of the tabs let's actually uh, test this open the xml files another webp here and as you can see here these are the drop down files that uh, the kotlin wants to <coughs> see all of this so switching between files is simply a matter of clicking on the responding tab using the alt alt plus uh, alt plus left left uh, and right keyboard shortcut so navigation between files may also be performed um, using the switcher mechanism accessible for example via gtrl uh, tab here control tab like this and you can also use the rule keys to um, like select this and go at the end of the switcher so uh, we also have the editor gutter area the editor gutter area actually let me sh go to code editor and show you what is editor gutter area this is the editor gutter area here so this area the gutter area is used by the editor to display informational icons and controls so some topical items among others uh, which appear in this gutter area are debugging breakpoint markers like this um, controls to fold and unfold uh, the code bookmarks uh, like here as you can add bookmark with f11 this is a shortcut here go to the line of code and press f11 and you're gonna have bookmarked of this code here so line numbers are switched on by default may be disabled by right clicking uh, in the gutter and 
uh, on clicking the show line numbers as you can see we are not seeing line numbers here and as you can see here we also can uh, hide the intent queries which uh, these actually are the helpful uh, features of android studio so we're gonna keep this that way we also have the code structure location here so the bar at the bottom of the editor displays the current position of uh, the cruiser here as you can see here so and so this displays the current position of the cruiser as it relates to the overall structure of the code in this uh, here for example the bar indicates that the our main activity on create function method is currently being edited and that is the method is contained within the main activity class oops actually sorry this is the main activity class as you can see this is we are this means we are now editing on create and let's actually go to another class and as you can see here now we are editing class initializer with you will which you will learn more about them later in this course so we also have editor area which uh, actually it's um, just an editor area though this is the main area where the code is displayed entered and edited by the user so later sections of this lecture will cover the key features of the editing area in detail we also have the which is um, we have we just had two topics to explain first is uh, the the validation and marker sidebar uh, so android studio incorporates a feature referred to as on the fly code analysis which uh, with this essentially means is that when you're typing code for example let's add something meaningless here and as you can see we got the read um here so this this is the on the fly code analysis so with this essential essentiality me it means that it uh, as you are typing the code the editor is analyzing the code to check for warnings and syntax errors as you can see here so the indicators at the top of the validation bar will show the real time to indicate how many errors um, and warnings found as code is added as you can see here so clicking on this indicator will display a pop-up as you can see here and containing a summary of the usage uh, found uh, within the code in the editor as you can see here and lastly we have the status bar and it's actually it's also worth noting that the lens overlay is not limited to warnings and errors in the sidebar Ho hovering over any part of the sidebar will result in a lens appearing here and uh, containing the code present at the location within the source file <clears throat> and lastly we have a the status bar so that the status bar is actually part of the main window so uh, as as you can see here there's a in the main window that was proposed to editor so it does contain some information about the currently active editing session this information includes the current position of the cruiser as you can see here uh, in this case here 18 as you can see these are the current position of the cruiser date and time spaces and characters so having provided an in this lecture we had the provided an overview of the elements that compromise um, the android studio editor uh, the reminder of this lecture uh, will explore the key feature of the editing environment in more detail my name is typhoon and i'm waiting you in next lecture